May I be of assistance to you, young master? Yuri was an ugly kid who, due to his parents' passing, inherited their whole estate. Despite having his butlers leave due to having no money to pay them, one maid decided to work for free because of his infinite riz genjutsu, so he decided to reward her the only way she wanted. Yuri's butler and two maids bid him farewell, but also expressed their sadness over the death of their masters. They were also sad that they had to leave him alone, but Yuri thanked them for all they had done, after which they parted ways. Yuri had decided to take charge of the estate after his parents' death. Unfortunately, his inheritance was as much as a handful of peanuts, so he had to let all the servants go. The next morning, Yuri woke up happily to his alarm, so he got dressed before going to the kitchen to make breakfast. When he tried making scrambled eggs and bacon, he accidentally burnt them like his dreams and hopes. After breakfast, he attempted to do laundry, but it ended in a soapy mess filling the room with foam. As time went on, Yuri tried to manage on his own, but struggled without the servants since he was as useless as Sakura. However, a girl in a maid outfit suddenly showed up one day and asked if she could work for him. Yuri let her know he was as broke as her ex and couldn't afford to hire anyone, so she offered to work in exchange for living in the mansion. At first, he hesitated, but for some reason her eyes seemed familiar to him, so he agreed to hire her and was amazed by her skills. Every meal she cooked was delicious and everything she cleaned sparkled, so Yuri accused her of using magic. She then teased him, saying that she'd cast a simple spell on him, and since Yuri was a dumb idiot, he believed her. He also assumed she could read his mind since she always knew what he wanted and was sure she'd enchanted him because he couldn't stop looking at her purple eyes. Later on, Yuri watched the maid as she hung out the laundry because he was puzzled about why she worked for a broke, poor, wretched boy like him. When she turned and asked if he had finished reading his book, Yuri decided to ask directly why she came to work for him. Instead of answering him directly, she tried to dodge the question and just smiled when he asked again, making him angry. He then accused her of hiding something, but she told him he was wrong and looked into his eyes with affection. However, Yuri insisted that his sharp eyes wouldn't be deceived and said that he would uncover the truth. Later that night, Yuri woke up and went to the kitchen for some water, but found the maid whipping something up. The next morning, Yuri noticed that the food was exceptionally tasty and began to suspect that the maid had added something to it during the night. She admitted to using a special ingredient called love, and as always, Yuri accused her of bewitching him. After breakfast, he found her in the corridor, and when he called out to her, she addressed him by name, which shocked him as she had never heard his name before. It also made him wonder if she was some undercover agent working with the feds, but she explained that it was just a common form of address. Yuri mentioned that his parents used to call each other by name, causing her to leave in embarrassment. Her strange behavior made him feel that she knew too much about him and might sell this information to criminals. Determined to learn more about her, Yuri went searching in the library and discovered that her name was Lilith. Later, while he was sitting at the table, Yuri anticipated that the maid would address him by name, but she called him Mr. instead. He then asked her to share more about herself and revealed her name, taking her by surprise before he expressed that he wouldn't trust her for the time being. The next day, Lilith woke up early, cleaned up, prepared food, and then went to Riz up. I mean, wake Yuri. Even though Yuri had grown accustomed to having a maid around, he still harbored suspicions about her wanting to get clapped by him. During breakfast, the doorbell rang, so Lilith answered it and returned with a game console, which accused her of trying to gain control by showering him with gifts. She insisted she wasn't, but Yuri told her that he would never be controlled by anyone and said even without gifts, he appreciated her for being a beautiful girl. Later on, while Yuri was in his office working, Lilith kept interrupting him, which annoyed, but he still allowed her to stay in the office. During his tea break, he noticed Lilith had disappeared, so he went in search of her and found her in the backyard, petting a cat. Lilith offered for Yuri to pet the cat too, but he declined, admitting he was afraid of cats. What a wimp. Eventually, he decided to put on his big boy pants and overcome his fears, but refused Lilith's offer to help deciding to try on his own. Lilith then left him alone with the cat, so Yuri cautiously reached out to pet the cat, but it was startled and jumped away, frightening him. The next moment, Lilith returned with a plate of fish and suggested Yuri feed the cat, so he tried again, however, a large gray cat suddenly appeared, hissing aggressively like Garfield's gangster cousin. To Yuri's surprise, the white cat came to his defense and the gray cat backed off. 
When Lilith returned from the store later that day, she found Yuri happily petting the kitten. Lilith, secretly wanting to be petted, snapped back to reality just in time, but Yuri still reached out and stroked her, commenting on how soft she felt. Embarrassed, Lilith quickly tried to leave, but accidentally dropped a photo of Yuri, which surprised him. When he demanded to know where it came from, she shyly admitted that she kept it so she could look at him day and night. Yuri suggested that she should just look at him in person instead, but Lilith was so embarrassed that she ran away. Yuri then looked at the photo, imagining Lilith performing some kind of dark ritual, most probably involving a lot of aerobic exercises. A little while later, Lilith came to Yuri, who was drawing a flower, and informed him that the food was ready. She had wanted to see the drawing, but Yuri refused, saying it wasn't finished yet, so they went to eat. After they ate, Yuri asked Lilith to teach him how to cook, and when she tried to refuse, he insisted, so he agreed. Yuri then began cooking with Lilith's guidance, and she ensured that he didn't miss any steps. By evening, the dish was ready, and he invited Lilith to join him for dinner, which she did after trying to refuse at first. When Yuri tasted the food, he noticed it was different from what Lilith usually made, and she told him she had forgotten to add her signature ingredient, which was a spoonful of love. Yuri, ever the Riz doctor, exclaimed sharply that it was evident she had put love into the dish, attributing its deliciousness and cleanliness to her deep affection for him. This caused Lilith to blush intensely, covering her face with her hands in embarrassment as the Riz was too much to handle. Later on, Lilith was cleaning Yuri's office when she noticed his notebook filled with drawings of flowers. Yuri had compared these flowers to Lilith's eyes in the past, which made her smile. After Lilith said goodnight to him, Yuri resolved to stay awake to find out what she did at night. However, despite his efforts, he eventually fell asleep, allowing Lilith to quietly enter his room and watch him sleep. The next morning, Yuri was getting ready to leave for school when Lilith earnestly asked him to accompany her. He jokingly remarked that they were like a married couple, which puzzled Lilith as her imagination went as wild as her desire for clapping. At school, a girl named Tsukasa noticed Yuri and wanted to speak to him regarding his parents, but the teacher interrupted before she could speak. During lunch, everyone discussed their holiday plans, and Tsukasa tried again to talk to Yuri, but he finished eating quickly and left. Quite the luck this girl is having. After school, Yuri walked home alone, contemplating going home by himself, when he unexpectedly spotted Lilith nearby. Tsukasa, who hadn't been able to talk to him at school, saw this as her chance to finally speak with him. But as Tsukasa observed from behind a tree, she saw Yuri scolding Lilith for showing up unexpectedly. Tsukasa misinterpreted their interaction, believing Yuri and Lilith were having an affair and were deeply in love. As she watched on her maid, Fujisaki approached from behind and asked how long she planned to spy on them. Lilith eventually noticed them and approached to greet them, as she and Fujisaki knew each other. Lilith then used the chance to ask Tsukasa to be Yuri's friend, which Tsukasa happily agreed to. When Lilith arrived home, she quickly prepared and headed to the store while Yuri was outside. Upon returning home, Yuri looked for Lilith, thinking she might be hiding and reading somewhere. When he didn't find her, he assumed she had gone to the store and decided to relax and play while she was out. Meanwhile, Lilith searched the market for a specific fish that was sold out everywhere but was unable to find it, so she decided to try another area. Back at home, Yuri started feeling sad because Lilith had left without warning for reasons that may seem fishy. He tried calling her, but she had forgotten her phone at home. At that time, Lilith's tram was delayed, but luck smiled on her when Fujisaki spotted her and offered her a ride home. Grateful for the ride, Lilith thanked Fujisaki before she hurried into the house and found Yuri with his head buried in a pillow, clearly upset. She began apologizing, but Yuri tearfully started shouting that he had been afraid she wouldn't return and confessed that he felt incomplete without her. Lilith then took his hand and comforted him, reassuring him that she was there for him. Yuri insisted that she not leave without warning again, and Lilith agreed, understanding his feelings. Some days later, while Lilith was cleaning the house, she wondered why Yuri was going full Sherlock Holmes on her. She watched and followed him around until he cornered her and said that she seemed very suspicious. However, he admitted that she looked beautiful and he could watch her all day. Embarrassed, Lilith fled to another room as, once again, the Riz was way too much for her to handle with a straight face. Worried she might be encouraging him to become a stalker, she resolved to be less suspicious so Yuri could trust her more. Later on, while Lilith sat on the floor with her head against the bed, she thought about how to befriend Yuri and earn his trust. She decided to suggest playing a game with him as a way to connect. Yuri initially thought playing chess with Lilith might be another one of her tricks, but he agreed to play anyway. 
As they played, Yuri thought about his parents and about how kind they were even though they were absent. He remembered wanting to play with his busy father who taught him chess and his mother who once offered to make pudding together. He had declined, remembering his father's remark that his mother couldn't cook. This upset his mother, but she made the pudding anyway, instructing him to stay out of the kitchen. Meanwhile, Yuri's father continued teaching him chess, and when his mother saw this, she initially felt frustrated that his father spoiled him. However, her mood softened when she heard they compared her to a chess queen. Back in the present, Yuri and Lilith played chess together and bonded over the game, making Yuri feel a sense of happiness he hadn't felt in a while. They played until late into the night, enjoying each other's company. The next day, when Yuri returned home from school, he seemed unusually quiet and thoughtful, much to Lilith's confusion. He didn't engage with her as usual, nor did he act suspiciously or interrogate her. Suddenly, the door opened and Yuri handed Lilith a piece of paper, making her scared that he might be firing her, but it turned out to be an invitation to an open lesson. Yuri explained that even servants were welcome to attend, revealing that he had been contemplating how to convince her to come along all this time. Lilith agreed to accompany Yuri to the event without hesitation, so he emphasized the need for her to dress formally, as important people would be present. Lilith went to choose an appropriate outfit, trying on various dresses and outfits without finding one that suited her. At school later on, Yuri hoped Lilith would arrive, recalling how often his parents couldn't attend due to their busy schedules. Meanwhile, his classmates discussed the upcoming event, eagerly anticipating the arrival of parents and guardians. As time passed, Yuri began to doubt if Lilith would show up, but she did even though she was a bit late. She explained that she had borrowed a suit from another maid since her usual clothes weren't suitable for the occasion. After school, Lilith sensed Yuri wasn't in a good mood, so she reached out and took his hand as they walked home together. A few days later, Yuri rushed down the hallway excited for sports day, but Lilith told him that he wouldn't achieve much in his current state and offered to train him. Yuri immediately agreed as he was relieved that she agreed to help him and come to his aid. After school, Lilith met up with Yuri again despite his earlier request not to, and as Tsukasa observed them, Fujisaki warned her not to stop trying to be 007. However, Tsukasa didn't listen and even tried to get closer to Fujisaki but was gently asked to focus on reality. When Lilith and Yuri returned home, she prepared a special treat for him which he thoroughly enjoyed and praised. It was then that he noticed a book in her hands which turned out to be a training plan for sports day. Later on, Yuri practiced throwing balls, tug of war, and running, with Lilith supporting and assisting him every step of the way. By evening, he was exhausted, and Lilith kindly offered to give him a massage, which he gratefully accepted. Feeling very grateful to her, Yuri asked how he could please her in return, which surprised Lilith and made her feel a bit embarrassed. Later that evening at Tsukasa's estate, Tsukasa entered the maid's room and asked Fujisaki to sit with her. Though surprised, Fujisaki agreed and noticed that Tsukasa seemed upset, so out of concern, she asked what was wrong. Tsukasa tearfully explained that her parents couldn't attend sports day because they were working, causing her to break down into more tears. Fujisaki comforted Tsukasa, promising to attend the sports day in place of her parents, which cheered her up. However, it turned out that Tsukasa had orchestrated this plan all along, and she secretly giggled in delight. The next morning, Yuri woke up before his alarm and found Lilith already preparing food. He then got ready and bid farewell to Lilith, asking her to come to the school dressed comfortably. At the competition venue, the announcer signaled the start of the events beginning with tug of war. As Yuri prepared, two boys approached him and began teasing him, but Yuri brushed them off confidently. He then heard Lilith's words of encouragement, asking him to defeat them, promising a gift if he did. Tsukasa overheard Lilith promising Yuri a reward and was curious about what it could be, so she decided decided to support Yuri with encouraging words and clapping even though she wanted him to do the clapping. After Yuri won the tug of war, Tsukasa informed him about the promised reward from Lilith. However, Yuri declined, stating that he didn't need a reward and that he did it to see Lilith smile. Tsukasa found this amazingly adorable and thought they made a great couple. During the next stage of the competition, Tsukasa and her maid decided to join Yuri and Lilith for a meal. However, Yuri felt guilty that Lilith had done so much for him without asking for anything in return. Lilith assured him that she didn't mind and enjoyed taking care of him. The next moment, an announcement was made over the loudspeaker inviting parents and guardians to participate in a race. Lilith decided to enter, and since she was motivated by Yuri's smile and support, she sprinted ahead of everyone else and won first place. 
Lilith expressed her happiness at wearing a tracksuit instead of her usual uniform, and when other students questioned why a servant was competing, Yuri proudly declared that Lilith was not just a servant, but family to him. He admitted that he still found her suspicious and possibly capable of casting spells, but he couldn't stop thinking about her and considered her family. Days later, Yuri sat in his office reading a book while it rained cats and dogs outside, but he was suddenly interrupted when a drenched Lilith returned from the store. Concerned for her health, Yuri rushed to get a towel and suggested she take a shower to avoid catching a cold. The next day, Lilith brought some tea for Yuri but mistakenly mixed up sugar with salt, surprising Yuri as she rarely made such errors. Later, he noticed her cleaning in an odd manner right before a book fell from a shelf onto Lilith's head. This caused her to stagger and fall to her knees in pain, so Yuri hurried to her side and found her running a fever. He insisted she rest and brought her to a room where he checked her temperature and discovered it was high. Despite feeling unwell, Lilith insisted on working, fearing Yuri might dismiss her if she didn't, but Yuri assured her that he would never send her away for being sick and insisted she stay in bed to recuperate. The next day, Lilith felt better and was outside hanging up laundry, but Yuri, concerned about her health, asked how she was feeling and mentioned she seemed off. Lilith blushed a bit and insisted she was fine before hurrying away because she felt embarrassed from yet another case of Riz overdose. Later, while they cleaned the windows together, Yuri noticed Lilith's discomfort with him helping and confirmed it when she suggested he rest. However, Yuri insisted they work together to finish the job quicker, expressing his desire to spend more time with her. As they tidied up the apartment and walked down the corridor, Yuri noticed Lilith's cold hands and immediately draped his cloak over her asking her to take care of herself. Taking his hand, they hurried indoors with Yuri voicing his concern about her well-being. Sometime later, as Halloween approached, Lilith and Yuri chose their costumes for Tsukasa's party, and Tsukasa suggested Lilith wear a suit, which initially embarrassed her, but eventually she agreed to wear it. When they arrived, Tsukasa admired their costumes and began imagining stories about them, but Fujisaki interrupted, finding it rude. They then went on to enjoy a table full of delicious treats and festive decorations specially prepared for Halloween. Yuri also thanked Tsukasa for a delightful evening and especially appreciated the costume Tsukasa had sewn for Lilith, while Fujisaki observed everything with joy, as she liked seeing her mistress happy at the Halloween party. Later on at home, Lilith received a letter from the postman, which she read with a serious expression, but when Yuri returned, he noticed Lilith hastily hiding the letter in her bosom. Curious, Yuri demanded, demanded to know what it was about, but Lilith promised to explain after dinner. During the meal, she revealed that the letter was asking her to return to her previous employment. Yuri was upset at the thought of her leaving because he felt he hadn't gotten to know her well enough yet and dreading the loneliness without her. Asserting his role as her master, Yuri insisted Lilith stay, causing her to tear up the letter and decide to remain by his side. Overwhelmed with relief and happiness, Yuri hugged Lilith tightly, grateful that she chose to stay. The next day at school, Tsukasa came up to Yuri and asked him to explain more about his relationship with the maid. Yuri started to describe how, from the moment he first saw Lilith, he couldn't stop looking at her and his heart raced faster. He admitted he felt confused about these feelings and didn't know what to do. His admission surprised Tsukasa, who pointed out that Yuri might be in love with Lilith, causing Yuri to ponder the idea of being in love, so he stayed quiet the entire day. When he returned home, Lilith tried to talk to him, but he didn't respond and seemed lost in thought. Tsukasa had invited Yuri to her house to talk about what love means, so when he got there, she introduced him to her mother and showed him around. Yuri gave Tsukasa a gift of cookies that Lilith had made for her, so Tsukasa proposed that they eat the cookies together with tea in the pavilion and discuss love. As they ate, Tsukasa complimented Lilith's cookies, and Yuri responded by calling her the best cook in the world. When Tsukasa suggested inviting Lilith over, Yuri mentioned she was busy with household chores, but in truth, Yuri was worried Tsukasa might like Lilith and choose to be with them, given their larger and wealthier estate. However, Tsukasa assured Yuri that Lilith would never leave him because she always smiled and looked happy when she was with him. Tsukasa wanted to give Yuri books about love, but Fujisaka intervened and took them away as Tsukasa had taken them without permission. A few days later, Yuri asked Lilith for permission to draw a picture of her for the upcoming drawing competition at school. This request caught Lilith off guard, but Yuri clarified that he wanted to draw her without unnecessary details. 
At first, Lilith misunderstood, thinking he meant drawing her in her birthday suit, but he explained that all he simply wanted was to capture her essence without unnecessary perks. Yuri took his time with the drawing, and when he finished, Lilith praised his work, but Yuri wasn't satisfied because he felt it didn't capture her true beauty. He then decided to erase the drawing and start over to better capture Lilith's essence. In the morning at breakfast, Yuri had dark circles under his eyes from working late and being unable to sleep, as he couldn't stop thinking about Lilith. Concerned, Lilith decided to address his lack of sleep and insisted he go to bed early, so that night she brought a scented candle to his room. Yuri admitted that even though the candle smelled nice, Lilith smelled even better, which made her blush again. She suggested he rest his head on her lap to help him sleep better and feel comforted. Yuri hesitated, worried her legs would ache, and he wouldn't sleep well knowing that, so Lilith poured him warm milk and played calming music. At school the next day, Yuri won first place in a trophy for having the best drawing. And that weekend, when Yuri woke up, he mistook Lilith for someone else at the window, but upon closer inspection, he realized it was just her. Despite having the day off, she chose to come to work because she genuinely enjoyed it. Later in the day, Yuri sat in his office working on something when Lilith appeared in stunning attire, causing him to drop his pencil in surprise. She then informed him that she was going for a stroll around the city to enjoy her day off in the fresh air before leaving. As she roamed around, a sweet aroma caught her attention, leading her to a candy store. While tasting the samples suggested by the saleswoman, Lilith felt a presence behind her but found nothing when she turned around. She eventually bought a couple of cakes and moved on to a cafe where thoughts of Yuri occupied her mind as she wondered how he was managing alone. The next moment, Fujisaki walked over to Lilith, and Lilith began talking about her time at Fujisaki Academy, where she had a reputation as a bully before changing her ways and leaving that past behind. Fujisaki seemed uncomfortable with the topic and asked Lilith to stop discussing it. While they continued talking, Fujisali encouraged Lilith to be honest about her past with Yuri, however, Lilith felt hesitant because she feared that Yuri might not understand. Just then, Tsukasa messaged Fujisaki, bombarding her with questions about love and requesting a photo which distracted them. After a while, Fujisaki apologized for needing to leave early due to work responsibilities. Lilith assured Fujisaki that she understood, acknowledging the other woman's lingering concerns about her daughter. They bid each other farewell, and before leaving, Fujisaki emphasized that Lilith should tell Yuri the whole truth. Meanwhile, Yuri had been observing Lilith, curious and concerned about her well-being throughout this encounter. As he sat in the cafe, Yuri couldn't help but wonder what Lilith was keeping from him and what the real truth might be. When they got home, Lilith tried to distract him with sweet gifts, but Yuri was upset and demanded answers. Yuri remembered a time when his parents had brought a girl who looked a lot like Lilith, and he became convinced it was her. Lilith finally confessed, and Yuri was angry that she hadn't told him sooner, even though it was important. She explained that she'd been afraid that he might reject her if she told him, so she kept it hidden, hoping he would remember on his own. In the end, Yuri reassured her, promising to understand and remember everything. At school the following week, Tsukasa bombarded him with questions about their relationship, desperate for any details. Yuri simply replied that they were taking clapping to a whole different level somewhere else. This seemed to surprise him because she thought Yuri had already grown up, so she asked when he had confessed his feelings of love to Lilith. Yuri immediately hurried home, and even though he was breathless, he still managed to confess his love to Lilith. He began by saying he liked everything about her, even her quirks, so she dropped her broom and whispered back that she loved him too. Suddenly, another maid with red hair approached from behind and demanded that Lilith leave the estate and return immediately. The fiery red-haired maid named Nakashima was invited into the house, and Lilith introduced her to Yuri. Nakashima immediately told Lilith to return to her previous estate, because Yuri was just a kid and had nothing to offer her. Yuri asked that they be left alone and then bravely declared his love for Lilith, but Nakashima argued that Lilith would be better off where she could earn more money. However, Lilith firmly stated that she wanted to stay with Yuri and did not wish to leave. This angered Nakashima, who couldn't understand why Lilith would choose to remain in a less wealthy household. Nakashima then decided to test Yuri to see if he was truly worthy of Lilith and quizzed him a bit. Still, she insisted that a good master needed to have money, which Yuri agreed with, so he brought a piggy bank where he saved money for a gift for Lilith. 
Nakashima mentioned she also had some spare change, though her pockets were empty, causing Lilith to tease her about being a spender. This seemed to make Nakashima angry, and she responded by calling Lilith stupid. She then moved towards Lilith, but accidentally bumped into a lamp and caused it to break. Yuri quickly rushed to check on Nakashima to ensure that she wasn't hurt while Lilith went to get a broom. Nakashima was surprised by Yuri's kindness despite her breaking his lamp, but Yuri explained that it was natural for him to be hospitable to Lilith's guests. When Lilith returned with the broom, Nakashima warned her to be cautious of Yuri, accusing him of using nice words to manipulate her. Lilith firmly defended Yuri, asking Nakashima not to speak ill of her master in their home. Nakashima said everything she did was for Lilith's sake, so Lilith thanked her and told her to keep her opinions to herself. Yuri then remembered Tsukasa's advice and thought Nakashima must care a lot for Lilith. Nakashima quickly tried to deny it as she blushed and asked Yuri to stop embarrassing her by talking about such things, but Yuri couldn't understand how else Lilith would know Nakashima's feelings without mastering the ancient arts of Riz. This made Nakashima blush even more, but she admitted her love and how she always thought about Lilith. She was constantly concerned about Lilith's well-being, where she was, which estate she was in, and whether everything was okay with her. Lilith replied that she felt embarrassed, but said that she was determined to stay with Yuri and not leave. The next day, while Yuri was at school, Lilith decided to tidy up the house and when Nakashima offered to help, Lilith insisted that she was a guest. After she finished cleaning, Nakashima wondered why Lilith didn't get tired from working alone in such a large house, especially without pay. Lilith replied that she didn't see it as a burden and was willing to do a lot for her master's sake. Later on, while they ate lunch, Yuri doubted Nakashima was really a maid because picturing her doing cleaning work was like seeing Danzo and Tobarama hanging out with the Uchihas. This made Nakashima angry since she was in a maid's uniform, so she tried to prove herself by cooking, washing, and cleaning, but ended up struggling with everything. When Yuri continued to doubt her, Nakashima became frustrated. Eventually, Lilith intervened and suggested Nakashima rest instead of cleaning. Yuri then asked why Nakashima insisted on doing tasks she couldn't handle. However, this seemed to anger Nakashima even more, so she grabbed a bucket of water to prove herself. Unfortunately, she slipped and accidentally soaked Lilith. Lilith confessed that Nakashima's efforts helped distract her from her mixed feelings. Nakashima pointed out that Lilith always looked happy when she was with Yuri. Meanwhile, Tsukasa was curious about Yuri and Lilith's relationship, and wanted to hear all about it. Yuri happily shared with Tsukasa that he had confessed his love to Lilith, and that they now considered each other family, which delighted her. Meanwhile, Nakashima, who was waiting for Yuri at school, saw him walking with Tsukasa, and thought he might be cheating on Lilith. As Nakashima stood there, she noticed Fujisaka passing by and recalled how she was bullied by her at the academy. Academy. When Yuri approached, Nakashima expressed her worries, so Yuri explained that Tsukasa was just a classmate and nothing more, which reassured Nakashima. As Nakashima was about to leave, she mentioned she didn't know what gift to get Lilith for Christmas. Suddenly, Yuri accidentally bumped into some high school students, causing one of them to drop their treat. They demanded compensation from Yuri because of the accident, but he argued that they had collided with him, not the other way around. When the students threatened him, Nakashima intervened, scaring them off with her bold demeanor before she praised Yuri for his bravery in standing up to them. Grateful, Yuri complimented Nakashima, calling her cool which made her slightly embarrassed as Yuri was now indiscriminate with his Riz massacre. He wanted to thank her and she suggested they collaborate on a gift for Lilith. As soon as they arrived home, they hurried to a room claiming they were busy and proceeded to debate over what gift to give Lilith. Nakashima preferred a formal suit while Yuri insisted on a cute dress with bows. Unbeknownst to them, Lilith overheard but chose to leave quietly to avoid embarrassment. They decided to stop arguing and instead planned how to surprise Lilith without her knowing. Yuri told Nakashima that he was going to Tsukasa's place, and Nakashima agreed to take Lilith outside to distract her. While Lilith was out with Nakashima, Tsukasa and her maid Fujisaki visited Yuri, and Tsukasa decorated the house for the surprise party while Yuri and Fujisaki worked together to bake a cake. During their preparations, Fujisaki playfully wiped something off Yuri's nose, and Tsukasa tried to capture the moment with a photo. Fujisaki quickly took the camera away, leaving Tsukasa to help with the cake decorating, while Fujisaki supervised. Meanwhile, as Lilith and Nakashima walked down the street, Nakashima was unsure what to talk about, so she tried looking up information on her phone, but couldn't find anything useful. Spotting a snack bar, Nakashima decided to get some treats to bring back to the others, but she tripped and hurt her nose in the process. After Lilith offered Nakashima a handkerchief to wipe her nose, she suggested they have some fun together, and they did. After their outing, 
Lilith surprised Nakashima by giving her hairpins, which made her very happy. In return, Nakashima gave Lilith a pen as a gift, suggesting she use it to write letters when Nakashima left. When they returned home, there was a bright light shining inside, and Nakashima noticed preparations going on. Curious, she entered the house and was greeted with surprise congratulations, which caught her off guard. It turned out that Lilith and Yuri had planned a surprise for Nakashima all along, and Nakashima felt awkward, especially when Fujisaki asked about her well-being. However, Tsukasa saved the situation by inviting everyone to gather around the table. After the festivities, they bid each other farewell, and Fujisaki expressed gratitude to Yuri for arranging such a wonderful celebration for her mistress. Later, Lilith and Yuri decided to give Nakashima a special gift they had prepared together. They quietly placed it in a Christmas stocking near Nakashima as she slept, then quietly left the room in Ninja Mode Christmas Edition. The next day, Yuri and Nakashima walked out of the store together, and Nakashima thanked Yuri for helping her sort out her feelings. When she expressed her desire to confess these feelings to her master, Yuri was surprised as he had always thought Nakashima loved Lilith. Meanwhile, while Lilith was cleaning, the doorbell rang and she found her former master at the door. It seems he had come to visit Lilith and also wanted to take Nakashima, who now worked at the store, back with him. Lilith apologized for keeping herself hidden for a whole year, but her former master assured her that he understood. Still, she explained that after her parents had passed away, none of her relatives could accommodate her for long. She said that Yuri's parents had graciously allowed her to stay for six months. On her first night, Yuri had approached her on the balcony from behind and startled her. She covered her eyes, thinking they might frighten Yuri, but he hugged her and complimented her beautiful eyes. Feeling grateful, Lilith decided to visit the Maid Academy to repay them for their kindness. When she heard about Yuri's parents' passing, she left her job and rushed back home to support him. The next moment, Yuri returned home and was surprised to find a stranger alone with Lilith in his house. Before Nakashima could intervene, Yuri asked the stranger why he was there, and he explained that he was concerned about Lilith. Yuri reacted swiftly, covering Lilith protectively and declaring that he wouldn't let anyone take her away, but the man simply chuckled and assured them he had no intention of taking her after which he left with Nakashima. Later that evening during dinner, Lilith suggested they take a walk outside after their dinner, making Yuri think of it as a date as Lilith blushed. The next day, Tsukasa sat in the car and saw Yuri and Lilith walking down the street. Tsukasa wanted to watch them, but Fujisaki reminded her they had to go to class. Meanwhile, Yuri and Lilith enjoyed hot tea at a cafe, and after they finished, Yuri asked Lilith to go somewhere with him. They ended up at his parents' grave, a place Yuri used to avoid, but with Lilith by his side, he felt comforted and placed two flowers on the grave. As they prepared to leave, Lilith made a solemn promise to Yuri's late parents that she would take care of him. In the evening, the city was adorned with beautiful lights, creating a serene atmosphere. Lilith's eyes sparkled in the lights and Yuri told her she looked very beautiful. Lilith blushed as she often did and when Yuri confessed his love to her, she asked how exactly he loved her. After he admitted he wasn't sure, they just stood together holding hands admiring the city lights and each other. The next morning there was a heavy snowfall and Yuri planned to build a snowman. To his surprise, Lilith had already built one so he built another snowman that resembled Lilith after which he decided to make a whole family of snow figures. When Lilith noticed Yuri's cold hands, she tried to warm them with her breath. But Yuri also noticed her hands were cold too, however, the touch made him feel warmer. Feeling embarrassed, Lilith suggested they go inside to warm up and Yuri agreed. 